peace infinite waters diving deep once again this is sexology water fire hot cold yin yang no more games the dating game the romance game the relationship game and what i've realized on my journey is that when we talk of masculine and feminine principles especially living in these days and times when we talk of this the connections between male and female on the planet many of us we are still playing these games and for me on my journey i had to let go of all of that and realize that when you're caught up in games there's always going to be rules and therefore there's always going to be boundaries there's always going to be a front there's always going to be concealment there's always going to be fear there's always going to be jealousy and all of these things because essentially we are not allowing ourselves to be free many people they get into a relationship and they have an agenda so immediately they're already living outside of their element and this happens a lot in a lot of times in relationships when even when a man sees a woman there could be a game plan okay i'm gonna try and seduce her i'm gonna make her fall in love with me that's almost like you're making the woman fall under your spell many of relationships many relationships in today's times are based around uh, trickery and for me on my journey i've realized that there's a whole wave of people who are realizing that games and tricks only cause more separation between one another because when two people actually see themselves naked this is what we call mentally undressing when they can see their organic selves then there's always going to be a high connection there's going to be a, a closeness between the masculine and feminine principles because there are no games there is no agenda nobody is is attempting to convince the other to do something essentially there is no force and for me that is that's what love is the love is no force in its highest sense that's what love is there's no force there's no manipulation there's no struggle and when our relationships become a struggle many of us we really have to question why are we caught up in these games and a lot of the time is based on our own frequency what we are attracting into our lives and i've just realized that even when we talk of uh, the dating game many people they put on their best clothes like i am today and a lot of the times it's it's almost about creating this beautiful persona which is fine because the first date sets off a lasting impression but at the same time when the novelty wears off then what and then what and then what and then what <laughs> and it goes on and on until we can actually when you can see your partner just waking up without no makeup without no fancy clothes on and you're still attracted to them then that is showing a higher level of attraction because there are many levels of attraction but essentially when you take off one layer another layer is revealed because when we talk of no more games even how the feminine principle relates to the masculine principle yes we exist within each other but how women act to men is also also has to be looked at because many women they use their beauty to attract men which is what nature intended because mother nature is beautiful it seduces us all but essentially when when women only use their beauty to attract men to them then they will never really know how deeply the man is attracted to them so a lot of the times people have to become themselves and not be in fear oh i have to be this way many of us in relationships we're keeping up appearances we're not really ready to undress i'm not talking even in the physical sense but in the spiritual and mental sense and for me no more games is really the motto i take with me when it comes to dealing with relationships on a higher level on a higher vibration i'm tired of playing games 
infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.